Okay, uh, over here is a picture of the problem. Uh, I'm not going to work this out to completion, but I will send a link to a Desmos graph that does show all the work involved. Uh, hopefully, you're allowed to use a calculator to solve the problem. But this circle represents the uh, radius that the transmitter centered at the origin can, can transmit. So its equation is x squared plus y squared equals 43 squared. That's the equation of that circle. The line that the uh, drive follows is from a point 53 miles north of the transmitter to 54 miles east of the transmitter. So if we could find the equation of this line and then find the points of intersection where the line meets the circle, then the distance from C1 to C2 would be the number of miles that the driver of the car was in range. If you wanted a percentage of the time, assuming that he drove at a constant rate, you'd find the distance from C1 to C2 and put it over the distance from uh, A to B. But the equation of the line has a slope, well, the line has a slope of negative 53 over 54. So here in slope intercept form is the equation of this purple line. And if we substitute that into the equation of the circle for y, we end up with this mess right here. Uh, so we have to square this binomial, which means square the first term, minus twice the product of the two terms. Uh, this 2 actually goes into the 54 and leaves 27 in the denominator, uh, plus 53 squared. And if we subtract 43 squared, we've got a quadratic equation where A is 1 plus 53 over 54. quantity squared, the coefficient of x squared. And b would be negative uh, 53 squared over 27. And c would equal 53 squared minus 43 squared. And you could plug those values into the quadratic formula and find the x coordinate of this point the x-coordinate of this point, and then plug those values into this equation right here. That would be easier than plugging into the equation of the circle to find the corresponding y-coordinates, where f of x is this y-value right here. So use the distance formula to find the distance between C1 and C2, and you've got your answer right here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end the video there and send you a link to a Desmos graph. Hopefully you will only look at that graph after you've tried all of these uh, techniques. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have a question, post a comment.